Hello YouTube for a Healthy Family Variety Channel tutorial. So let's say that you bought a used Select Comfort king size mattress and it did not come with the instructions. This tutorial is to help you assemble it so that you can put it to good use. So we bought one. We have some family coming. We needed a spare bed and so we found this one on Craigslist and it was unassembled without instructions. It came with just these panels right here. We had the long panels, four of them, and then we had four of these end panels, which the only difference it is from these is that they're not uh, recessed or corrugated on both sides. And then we had all of these center panels. It's fairly easy to put together. They have markings on them that you match up. B to B, A to A, and then once you've got all of these ribs placed within the, the outer frame, then you put on these panels here. Now ours came with metal bed frames, so they didn't have the feet, otherwise you would have it flipped over. You would install the, I think there's six, uh, three on each side, feet. Ours came with uh, metal bed rails, so it did not have the feet. So these right here are kind of confusing at first, but they're really not. If you look right here, there's these two. Okay, so one thing, whenever you're assembling it, you kind of get these in, and sometimes they don't fit all the way. You're not going to damage it at all if you put your weight right here and step on the end to make sure that it goes down. You know, again, to make sure you're doing it right, you're going to want to have it so on these side rails you have these little knobs sticking up and as you put these ribs within it the knobs are sticking up there as well also on the end pieces that way you know that you're doing it correctly then you come over here and you're going to look for sorry about the lighting let's see the side of one of these panels that has these two recessed areas that come all the way to the edge those are going to go on one of these sides. See, this one has three, so you have to get the other side that has three. You'll line it up. I'll show you what to do next. All right, so the, the panel here that has three areas are not going to go all to the edge. They'll be these with these two right here. That matches up with those two little knobs right there and there and the third one right here. So the way this is set up, this one is going to need to go down over this way so that this side is still showing. Get it lined up right there. It fell into place because it's got the little notches and then you'll slide it that way and it will join with all the parts. So I'll have to uh, put you down in order to get that locked into place but you just match that up and then you shift it over slide it into place and everything locks in and holds tight All right, so there's nothing magical about these these are just uh, like a foundation or box springs but they match better since they're solid hard surfaces they match better with these uh, select comfort or air mattresses alright so I've seen some of these that have one a sheet that goes over these or joiner or skirt whatever you might call it this one has them going over each one individually so I got the first one on just make sure you pull it tight down to the bottom pulls in tight put the other one on and we move on so the next thing you're going to want to do is to lay out this uh, sheet frame here with the zipper side up zipper side facing up uh, and also you're going to want to put the the holes that are here at the top at the head of the bed the top of the bed that one has a tear we got this thing cheap so that's fine I don't think it'll affect it at all but so that the holes right there and right there for the air hoses to go through just get it lined up and then we'll put the air bladders in like this and like that have it laid out. The bladders are laid out inside. The air 
attachment hoses or the nipples are right there at the top. There's the two hoses and the air pump is over there. And then these uh, bumpers or spacers are lined out around the perimeter. So I think I'm going to have to air these up in order to get everything to start fitting. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I've done a couple of steps here. Uh, both of the mattresses are inflated. I would started out with this one at 70. Um, it's a bit tight for getting everything in, so you might just start out at about 50. That's what this one at is at 50. You know, make sure that you know which side is which with the air hoses when you hook them up. You need to put in this center foam divider here. That is important to keep the two mattresses separate. And then your longer pieces of wall dividers are on the, the sides, the right and the left, the longer ones. The shorter ones are at the feet. And then you just lift up this, get it uh, brought up all the way, and then now we will zip the topper onto it. This one might be over simple for most people, but uh, I didn't want to leave it out just in case. Um, make sure when you lay this out that the section that has the overlapping the overlapping teeth, um, the zipper teeth, that's the part that you will overlap right here. And then you do want to make sure that you get this part inserted all the way to the metal backing right there before you start zipping it up. That'll keep it seamless and you won't have a cross threading or the teeth jumping. You have it. It's all assembled and ready to go. Now one thing that I did notice once I got it uh, all zipped on the top, this is kind of shifted and it, it, it's all the way around a little bit shifted and I, I spent about, I don't know, 10 minutes trying to get that uh, shifted just right so that it would it would have you know a flat edge like this one and I couldn't get it I don't know if that has something to do with it being used and it's just taken on a certain um, it's just taken on a certain you know shape from the use and if that's fixable or not so if you run into that uh, you might be able to figure it out if you do please leave that in the comments below as tips for somebody else trying to assemble one of these but there we are we have the Select Comfort Ultra Series King Size Air Mattress assembled and ready to be used. I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you guys out. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye now.